Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me Siddharth Sharma and this is a show where we get you the latest from the world of technology. The gadgets to own, the gizmos to drool over and the ones just to ignore. The Cricket World Cup is here and so are we ready with our gadgets and gizmos. But before we begin the show, let's tell you what's lined up for you guys in the next half an hour. We get you the best budget DSLRs available in India right now and also the review of the all-new Xiaomi Mi4. Okay then, that was the lineup on the show and as India gets set to bring the World Cup back home, ICC and the Cricket World is going to see some new technologies come up during this World Cup. Let's tell you what are these new technologies that you will see in the World Cup 2015. By the time a Cricket World Cup comes up every four years, we see new and new technologies used especially when it comes to the broadcast of those matches. This time too, in the 2015 ICC Cricket World Cup, you're going to be able to watch a cricket match in 4K technology for the very first time. Now, not all of the cricket matches are going to be telecasted in 4K, but at least eight of them will be. What you need to enjoy this new Ultra technology is a 4K television, of course, and a DTH connection that provides this stream in 4K. Another thing to look forward to in the 2015 Cricket World Cup is, of course, the ICC's official Fantasy League. Now, as far as Fantasy Leagues go, there's nothing extraordinarily new. But the first prize might get your attention. It's a cricket bat signed by all the World Cup team's captains and also a mini World Cup trophy in tow together with an ICC goodies bag. You can select your teams and, of course, as any Fantasy League goes, you'll have to make those changes in a team for every match you're allowed a certain number of substitutions and there will be a winner announced for each match of the world cup and for those of you who don't have access to 4k technology the production of the icc cricket world cup 2015 will be in high definition format the 29 on-field cameras will capture the most riveting experience of each and every match. You will of course see the ultra motion cameras in action and tagged along with them will be a spider cam at 13 matches. Drone cameras are all set to make their debut in the World Cup and they will be broadcasting live at all the knockout matches. The favourite technologies like real-time Snicko and LED stumps from the 2011 World Cup will also be seen at the ICC World Cup 2015. Now, it's not just technology advancement off the field, but also on the field when it comes to players' kits and team jerseys. We hear the Indian team is extremely happy with the new kit that has been designed for them because it gives them increased mobility and better breathability, something that sportsmen crave so much on field of any sport. The Indian kit features dry fit technology that we are very familiar with and uh, many teams across the world use. But also this time, there's an addition of the pro base player technology that helps the team move better and feel better, especially in the heat of Australia. Remember, temperatures can be high in many places in Australia as far as summers go. So the players are very happy and of course, here in India, we'll hope that they convert that happiness into happiness for millions and millions of fans here in India by getting that cup that matters. Rohit finishes off in style. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. Players jumping around for joy and why wouldn't they have had such a wonderful World Cup? The party begins in Mumbai. Don't worry if you won't be able to get up early in the morning and catch all the World Cup excitement that is going to happen in the next one month. There are some apps out there that are available free for download on your smartphones and tablets that will keep you up to date with the live scores and matches that happen in the World Cup. Let's take a look at them. Over a billion people across the world are expected to watch the Cricket World Cup that will take place from February 14th to March 29th. And yet it was enough. No matter what you are doing, you will like to catch on with what's happening in the cricket matches played in Australia and New Zealand. So here are some apps you can consider installing on your smartphones or tablets to keep track of the World Cup.
ICC released its official Cricket World Cup app. Available on both Android and iOS, the ICC Cricket World Cup offers a range of features to users. It allows you to keep a tab on the latest scores as well as get ball-by-ball -ball commentary. Additionally, the app also showcases video clips of the best moments in a match which you can watch at no charge. Users will also be able to read columns written by some of the biggest cricket legends. Star Sports have availed the exclusive rights to broadcast all the matches of Cricket World Cup 2015. It also has the exclusive digital and internet rights. If your office allows video streaming, then you can get a subscription to this service for 120 rupees to view live matches. The app offers full live scorecard, ball-by-ball -ball commentary, match schedules, points tally, standings and other statistics. It also offers multi-language options that allows you to watch the live match in your favourite language as well as the audio commentary. This is a free app on Android and iOS. A must-have app if you can't afford to miss out every moment of the game is the ESPN Crick Info. The official ESPN Crick Info cricket app lets you stay updated with the latest scores, breaking stories, player statistics, records, rankings and other exclusive content which makes it the perfect personal cricket companion. The app now offers a revamped text commentary section and the data is now displayed in graphs. This is a free app on Android and iOS. Yahoo Cricket is a popular app that gives you cricket updates on your mobile handsets. The app, which has a dedicated following in India, offers you analysis, interactive scorecards, match statistics, commentary, notifications, news aggregated from various portals and much more. Crick Buzz is another app that you can download on a smartphone or tablet. The app offers you news, ball-by-ball -ball score updates with commentary and analytical columns. It also offers photo galleries and on-field action via apps for Android, iOS, Windows Phone, Blackberry and Symbian phones and as an extension for the Google Chrome web browser on Windows PCs, Macs and Google Chromebooks. Crick Buzz is a must-have app on cross-platforms. Now, as World Cup is going to happen in Australia, all the matches are going to start early in the morning. And what will you do in the evening? Well, if you are bored of watching all the highlights of the matches and the analysis, you can sit back and play some games. Here are the list of the top cricket games available for you guys to download and play. With the matches starting early during the World Cup, you will have the whole evening to yourself. So if you are getting bored, here are a few games that you can play to satisfy your cricket hunger. First is the Don Bradman Cricket 14. This game brings exciting cricket action right into your living room. The game features a fully featured fielding system, a complete player physics system with individual attributes including weight and height, and a cricket academy which allows for unparalleled customization of your cricket experience and much more. Don Bradman Cricket 14 is available on PC, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 at a price tag of Rs 3,985. Second game on your console is the Move Street Cricket. At a price tag of Rs 1299, this game will bring gully cricket inside your living room. It has a lively action-packed gameplay, focused more towards style than strategy or management. The Game Breaker Meter, guaranteed powerful, stylish shot or a ball guaranteeing wicket makes the gameplay fun and interactive. The game also allows gamers to control over the way their players argue over the biased umpiring. Oh, and finally, if you are a gamer on the go, then Stick Cricket is the game to have on your handheld device. This is the most popular cricket game on a smart device till date with millions of downloads. The app is available free on Android and iOS. It features the World Cup tournament as well, in which you get a chance to be a national hero and win the cup. Now the World Cup season is on and so is the season of capturing all those memories with friends and families while watching the match and enjoying the World Cup experience. Nikon recently came out with a camera, it is a professional camera and next up we get you a review of the all new Nikon D810. The Nikon D810 is a camera that replaces the classic D800 and the D800e. It's a full frame 36.3 megapixel camera that offers some of the best images you can get from any DSLR. 
for serious and professional photographers the 171270 rupees body only asking price is not that intimidating but it is a camera you'll need to invest in lenses for to get the most out of a brief glance and the Nikon D810 looks extremely similar to the D800. It's a large DSLR, but one that has a conventional look. Construction quality is fantastic. The Nikon D810 is made using a magnesium alloy, giving it a much tougher feel than plastic-bodied low- and mid-range DSLRs. Despite magnesium's lightweight, the D810 still weighs a hefty 830 grams. Nikon does not use a low-pass filter in the D810 and there is no alternative model with this one also. As a result, the D810 is somewhat susceptible to more noise but is also exceptionally sharp. The D810 has a 3.2-inch display with resolution of 1.23 million dots. The camera uses a 36.3 megapixel sensor with the Xpeed 4 image processor. Shooting at full resolution tops out at 5 fps or 6 fps for DX sensor crops of 15 megapixels. There is a 51 point autofocus system and it is extremely fast even in poor lighting conditions. Nikon has rather dramatically expanded the ISO range of the D810 to 64 to 12800 ISO. The Nikon D810 can produce staggeringly good images when paired with the right lens. It's no shooting performance slouch either and is a camera that is worth the price tag. Don't worry if the Nikon D810 is an expensive option for you. We've been getting a lot of queries on what are the best new DSLR cameras that are available in the market in a budget. So next up on the show, we tell you about the top entry-level DSLR cameras that are available in the market for you guys. So for all you photography enthusiasts, here are our top picks among the best entry-level DSLRs for you guys and they are in no particular order. First on the list is the Nikon D5300. It houses a 24.2 megapixel CMOS image sensor capable of full HD video recording. The D5300 comes with a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor which is of the DX format and works with the XP4 image processor to give you images of top quality, capturing great color, saturation and light without blur or bleeding edges. The camera comes with a 3.2 inch LCD display that has a 170 degree viewing angle. It comes with a 3 to 2 aspect ratio that is wide and has a resolution of 1036.8K dot. The autofocus on the camera is a 39.1 and the 3D tracking mode helps maintain focus when you capture videos. The camera comes at a price tag of Rs 48,900 and is a great buy for people looking to start with some serious photography. Canon also has a good entry-level DSLR in the form of the Canon EOS 600D. This camera is equipped with a powerful CMOS sensor with an 18 megapixel APS-C size for better photos and enhanced lighting capture. It also has a crisp 3-inch wide vary-angle clear view LCD monitor that records and plays back images and videos of exceptional quality. The EOS 600D can shoot up to 3.7 shots per second so that you never miss on a crucial shot. The camera features 9 autofocus points that can be individually selected. Canon EOS 600D is priced at Rs 47,516. The third camera on the list is the Sony Alpha A58M 20.1 megapixel digital SLR camera. The 20.1 megapixel Sony A58M camera with Exmor HD APS sensor technology has taken photography to a whole new level. This camera is a photographer's ultimate delight. The Exmor HD APS technology enables you to click high resolution flawless images even in low light areas while the translucent mirror technology enables the user to take photos at the rate of 5 frames per second. To maximize the value of translucent mirror technology, Sony incorporates phase detection autofocus for great sophistication. Three cross type sensors maximize focus precision. The True Finder electronic viewfinder is super bright and offers 1x magnification so that you can get the clearest, sharpest shot. Sony Alpha A58M DSLR camera comes at a price tag of Rs 43,990. 
Now, how can we not have a smartphone on the show? Xiaomi recently came out with a new flagship offering in the Indian market, the Xiaomi Mi4. And next up, we get you a review of this new beautiful looking flagship device from the house of Xiaomi. They don't call Xiaomi Apple of China for no reason. And Xiaomi is not backing out either. This is the all new Xiaomi Mi4. Look at it, it reminds you of an Apple iPhone 4. The new flagship offering for India by Xiaomi comes at a price tag of Rs 19,990. Don't count it out though, because slowly you will fall in love with this smartphone. The build quality on an Android smartphone at this price is almost unheard of. The 5-inch IPS display is also striking and very impressive, sporting a full HD 1080 by 1920 pixel resolution and rock-solid viewing angles. It's also easy to see in direct sunlight and boasts the kind of color reproduction you'd expect from a top-of-the-line handset. It also has some awesome specifications like a quad-core Snapdragon 801 chipset clocked at 2.5 GHz that is backed by a 3 GB of RAM, all of which provides a clutter-free user experience and amazing performance. It has its fallings like there is 16 GB of internal storage but no scope of expansion. It comes loaded with Xiaomi's Mi UI 6 that is based on Android. The Android version inside though is the 4.4 KitKat operating system, not the latest Android 5.0 lollipop. The Mi UI 6 looks like the iOS and the striking similarity is that there is no app drawer. The Mi4 has a large 3080mAh battery and this phone has good stamina and lasts longer than many Android devices. Xiaomi Mi4 has a Sony-made 13MP camera and it's just awesome for a phone that is priced below Rs 20,000. The usual issue with shooting in low light remains, but when you've got a well-lit environment, the Mi4 is capable of producing some spectacular images. There are drawbacks, no micro SD card slots being possibly the most obvious and the lack of 4G in this launch model is also an issue. Also availability just online is a bit of a reach issue. Overall though, Xiaomi Mi4 is one of the fastest and most aesthetically pleasing Android handsets we've ever seen and it's a definite recommendation from our side at Gadgets and Gizmos.